today I am going to the day six of fan meet in LA. I am on my way to the airport right now. My friend Sam. He's a slave driver. <laughs> yes, I uh, asked him if he could give me a ride. He was like really nice enough to give me a ride to SF. So yeah, um, a lot of things have been happening this morning. Like I've just been like all over the place because like I came out of a tutoring session. I'm missing a freaking midterm. Ugh, I'm taking that on Monday by the way. But um, yeah, and then my friend who I'm going to the concert with, our she sent me an email and the flight is delayed to like 4 o'clock. So I am going to reach the venue like oh, pretty much right when it's about to start and I'm trying to avoid that. I hope that it changes or something, but we'll see. Okay, bye! Sorry, I haven't been vlogging a lot. I've been like running around the airport with my friend Winnie. This is my friend Winnie. Hi. Yeah, we we're both going to the Texas concert, and we've just had our airplane delayed by like an hour. So we've been like praying that we will at least get to the venue by seven. Right now it's like six twenty. So the show starts at eight. So we were just Go. like Let's hustle. <laughs> living on the edge so yeah that's, that's pretty much all been happening um so i'm sorry if this vlog is really short i'm only staying in long beach overnight because i gotta get back home tomorrow so i'll update you guys later bye, bye. Ah, okay so me and winnie made it yo shout out to our uber driver got this us guy. here on time yeah he was really sweet yeah um yeah we made it at like pretty much at around seven so that was like perfect because like we're here an hour before the show starts so we got our wristband and everything and we are all set to go holy i've never been like on the edge of my seat for the whole entire day wow that was that was a ride my friends that was a ride and like i was almost not let in because my polaroid i was so <laughs> I told her to like hide it in some bush and then yeah. she got so mad at the security guard. Okay, I did not get mad, but he was like, oh my god, you should have known. I'm like, do you know how many concerts I've been to, homeboy? Do you know how many? And it was like a Polaroid and not an actual digital camera, so I think he just like didn't know, but yeah. But yeah, we're okay though, cause good. one of the staff members like helped me out. She's like, yeah, it's okay, just don't take pictures like outside of or inside of the concert. So, yeah, yeah. And then we have like less than an hour before the show starts. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you guys up later. Bye. Ended. Look at how sad Winnie is. I'm so sad too. That was like probably one of my favorite concerts this year. Like that was so fulfilling. Oh my god. I'll talk more about it later. But for now, just know that it was amazing. Day six does not disappoint. Oh my god. Please stand talent. Ugh, they're amazing. And we just got out of high touch too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Winnie. I'm freaking. She like <laughs> sang to Jay. It was great. It was great. <laughs> It was great, I loved it, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys more, probably tomorrow, but yeah, bye! <laughs> Winnie is having serious PCD right now. <laughs> you only can see her right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we just made it to our hotel. Um, it's pretty spacious in here, actually. Bathroom, dope. Yee, yeah, we got two beds right here. Hello, Winnie. And yeah. I mean, we're only staying for the night, so yeah, but it has everything that we need. It's lit! Mm -hmm. Our plan for tomorrow is just to get some breakfast and then we're gonna just head to the airport and fly back home. Get back to life. Oh, get back to reality. This was so short. I wish it was longer, but this was definitely worth it. Like, totally. I'm gonna call it a night and talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 
Good morning, friends. So me and Winnie just woke up. Um, we're about to head down to get breakfast. And then right after that, we're just gonna head back home. Well, to the airport and then fly back home. So that's pretty much it. Um, we're really emo. I'm really emo. <laughs> I like couldn't sleep yesterday. I was like tossing and turning, but I think cause I have too much like adrenaline and shit. But yeah, I'll take you guys along. Bye. So it's been two days since the concert. Right now is Sunday. Um, yesterday I just got home and now I'm going to go ahead and do my little concert review. I'm going to try to make it uh, nice and short because I actually didn't record like the entire concert this time. I mainly recorded like the performances. Um, okay, so I when I got to the venue, I got my tickets and my wristband and... I went to go ahead and sit in my seat because me and my friend, uh, we got separate tickets so we weren't sitting together. So I was like alone by myself. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it was okay. It was fun. Um, yeah. So basically I was sitting at like row seven pretty much and it was only the first three rows that were P1. I thought this year it was like really unevenly like distributed with P1 and P2 because there's like a lot of P2 in comparison to P1 I guess because you know P1 gets the fan signing and it's like they're crunching on time so totally understandable but yeah so honestly I felt like I was sitting with P1 basically because I was still really close to the stage and I was basically like to the left side but more so near the center so I got a really good view um yeah so uh all the fans there were really really nice and throughout the whole entire concert like they were like chanting and doing a lot of like, the fan chants along with the songs it was just so so nice um day six looked really really touched too so it was really great um when they first came on stage they performed with i wait oh my god that was the one song that i wanted to hear the most <laughs> Also, like congratulations and letting go but that was like the one song that I wanted to hear the most and they that was the first song they performed so I just felt so attacked right in the beginning so I was like oh okay here we go um yeah I honestly don't remember the order of the songs that they performed because they performed a lot of songs like I'm so grateful um but I'm also ready for a full-on concert because hearing day six live was just so it was just really magical. I can't even explain to you guys how great it was. <laughs> quite a few concerts this year and I, I can say that this one was probably one of my favorites like it is up there I think for this one it wasn't just like 
they didn't have to use any special stages or cool outfits or whatnot. It was just like their voices and the way they performed that really spoke to the crowd, you know? Like, I don't know, Day6 just has something about them that's just, I don't know. Yeah, I can't even explain it, but they were great. Um, it just felt very personal. Like, it felt like I was just hanging out with my friends and watching them perform in their garage or something. You know, like, it just felt like that intimate. Probably because the venue was also really small, so it just felt like we were really close to day six, pretty much. And it was great. Um, yeah, all the performances were A1. Oh my god. Like, they're, they're singing live. It just does not compare to, like the CD that you hear, you know, they probably just ate their fucking CDs, honestly, because their singing live was so amazing. During their Q&A, it was also really cute because they all like tried to speak English. I mean, Yonke and Jay, they were speaking a lot of English, but the other members, they were like trying their best to speak English and it was so cute. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I think I caught some of their Q&A, so I'll insert clips if I can. Uh, what's your best memory with the members in 2017? <laughs> What's my best memory from 2017 with my members? Uh, I guess, I guess it's today! Uh, you know those times, there are times when we all get together and we actually get together a lot because you know we live with each other. Yeah, we have to practice for our band practices. We write songs together, we almost, we, we basically do everything together. Like everything. My question is very simple. What did you want to be when you were young? When I'm young boy, I want to be a president. Yeah, and then I think one of the moments that really stood out to me was when um, they were doing like close to their final goodbyes and they are all saying their speech and it was Jay's turn and the whole concert, honestly, it was supposed to only be an hour and a half, but it, it, it lasted like two hours because they were just so interactive with the fans and it was like really, really nice. Um, so during Jay's speech, he was just telling us how like amazed that such a big crowd came out for day six and how like um, it, he went through a lot to get where he is. And it was just very motivational and, and inspiring to hear him talk about his, you know, like journey and yeah, it was it was really touching. Yeah, for the fans and for day six. It was just yeah. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Um God, I need to find other adjectives. But yeah, sorry, I'm like a mess, obviously. Oh, okay, so I guess now I'll go ahead and just talk quickly about the high touch. Um for the high touch, basically all the P2s were asked to be seated in their seats and day six came like in front of the stage and there was like a table that they were standing behind and then everyone was slowly um, getting up to do the high touch. So basically, as they were going to the high touch, like all the P2s were able to, to watch it happen, but of course weren't allowed to record, which sucks, but I mean, it's all good. Um, yeah, so basically the whole time, me and my friend Winnie were just like staring at day six, like in awe, like they're right in front of us, even though we just like watched them during the concert. But like, yeah, they were even closer to us. I was just like looking at them like, oh my God, they were right there. So when it was our turn to go up, um, 
I was like obviously really nervous. Me and Winnie were really nervous and we're like, ah! But um, yeah, so Winnie was in front of me and she, the order was J, uh, J, Yonke, Dohun. No, was it Dohun then Yonke? Oh my god, sorry, I'm losing it, guys. Okay, it's one of those. It's definitely J, Dohun, or Yonke. And then it's um, One Pill and Sungjin. Yeah, yeah. So Jay was first, and Winnie was like singing to Jay. She, I think she say, sang, um, wow. So like, you make me say wow. So she sang that, and he was like laughing so hard. And then he was like turning to me, and he was like, oh my gosh, you just did that. I was like, yeah, I know, that was so funny. Um, but yeah, um, I think the high test was actually pretty rushed in my opinion. But I get it since um, there's a lot of P2, so they're just trying to like you know have everyone go. So. Yeah, it was pretty rushed, but I mean, it was it wasn't too bad. Mm, I was at least able to give him a high five, and I told Doan that he was like, either I said he was my favorite drummer or I really love your drumming. Holy fuck, I'm just, I'm an idiot. Whatever, but yeah, and I think I told Young K I loved him. Okay, I, like I knew what I wanted to say to each member. I didn't have time to say it, so I was like, shucks, but it's okay. I know for Sung Jin, I said, I love your singing, and he was like, wow, thank you. So, yeah, I try to get audio recording, so if it's clear enough, I'll, like, insert it. much it um i mean there's uh, honestly a lot more i want to say but it would just take like more than an hour <laughs> so i don't want you guys to sit through that um but yeah just know that the concert was amazing and i'm so glad that la was day six first stop i'm also wearing their hoodie Woo! that's it so thanks for coming along with me as always i'll see you guys in the next video